Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the three main types of the transverse reinforcement that is the stirrups, ties and the spiral. That what is the main difference between this type of the reinforcement and how we can differentiate between each type of the transverse reinforcement. So I will explain this with the help of the examples in order to understand it more easily. So basically there are two types of the reinforcement. One, one is called is the longitudinal reinforcement. Longitudinal bars are the reinforcement and the second one reinforcement are known as the transverse bars are the transverse reinforcement. So in the case of the transverse reinforcement we have three types, main subtypes. These are the stirrups, these are the ties and these are the spiral. So why they are different from one another? So I will show you in this lecture today. The longitudinal bars are mostly used to take the main load coming on the structure. They are mostly used to take the main load of the structure. For example, this is any beam. Let's consider this is any beam of any length L and there is some load acting on the structure member that is beam. So due to this load, there is some bending moment and we have to provide the main bars, these black lines show the main bars, these are known as the longitudinal bars. This is the longitudinal reinforcement, these black bars in the beam to take the bending moment or the bending stresses created in this beam. So how we can say that what are the stirrups? So when the transverse reinforcement are the reinforcement that is provided perpendicular to the longitudinal bars here we provide the longitudinal the transverse reinforcement in perpendicular direction to the longitudinal bar these reinforcement are known as the stirrups because they are used in the beams so when the transverse reinforcement are used in the beams such type of the reinforcement are known as the stirrups so in this transverse reinforcement now used for different purposes for example they confine the concrete and they make a bond between the concrete and the steel reinforcement and they also provide resistance to the shear forces and also to the earthquake resistance earthquake load so they are mostly provided to increase the lateral capacity of the beam so when the transverse reinforcement are provided in the beams they are known as the stirrups. Similarly, if I consider this is any column, this is any column in which we provide the main bars as the vertical bars, these are known as the longitudinal bars here, and they take the main load of the column. When there is a load coming on the column, so they take the main load. This column is a compression member, so mostly concrete is responsible to take the compression, but we also provide the main bars in order to take some bending, maybe there is some bending in the column or buckling. So what we do, we provide the main bars or we can call the longitudinal bars because they are along the longitudinal axis of the column. But the bars, transverse reinforcement, the reinforcement provided in the perpendicular direction to the longitudinal bars, when they are provided along the whole height of the column so such type of the reinforcement when they are provided in the columns are known as the ties so these reinforcement when provided in the columns their purpose is same they provide the lateral resistance to the load maybe the earthquake load or the a seismic or maybe the wind load so they also confine the concrete so they have the same purpose as the stirrups but in this case when these reinforcement are provided in the columns so they are known as the ties. The third one is the spiral. Similarly, if we have circular column, this is this column was rectangular column, rectangular column or maybe square column, square cross section column. As you can see here, the cross section is square or rectangle. But in this case, if you have circular column, and in this case, this is circular column. So we have again the main bars are the longitudinal bars provided along the longitudinal axis along the height of the column. So we also provide the transverse reinforcement in this case throughout the height of the column in order to increase the shear capacity of the column 
to take the literal loads coming on this column so they have the same purpose this transverse reinforcement but they are now is called this spiral because they are used in the circular column circular column so when the transverse reinforcement used in the beams they are known as the stirrups when the transverse reinforcement used in the rectangular column or square column they are known as the ties and when the transverse reinforcement used in the circular column they are known as the spiral so but their purpose are all the same they confine the concrete they they increase the shear capacity of the structure members beam or column and they also provide resistance to the lateral load that is earthquake load or the wind load but these all have different names stirrups ties and spiral hope you guys understand the main difference between these three different technical terms and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos